Hey guys, Nature from Protoculture and Shadow Chronicles. This video, we're gonna expand on the key bindings that we looked at and dive into macros, how to set them up. Um, they're massive time savers when you get them nicely dialed in. And it's basically compounded key bindings where you can assign multiple uh, functions to one key. Let's check this out and I'll show you how they work. So as I was saying, macros are a really powerful little tool to stack up functions in Cubase and assign them to a single key to, so you can perform sort of quite complex uh, tasks at just the touch of a button. Um, your macros will show up in the edit section of here. All your macros are down here. And um, these, uh, this is one that I've created now, which we'll take a look at in depth. Um, these are kind of the default ones. You can kind of play around with these. Um, they're super handy, you know, like uh, this one, for example, I use loads, select tracks to a new folder um, and add a group channel to those. So that's great for setting up stems. You can very quickly add in tracks, uh, assign them to groups and um, organize them very, very quickly with just a touch of a button. Um, we're actually going to build on this one now and just take a look at how we actually build a macro. Uh, so let's jump into the key commands again. That's where we access all our macros. Uh, you want to hit show macros down at the bottom. Uh, I'm just going to delete this one. We're going to kind of redo that one from the ground up uh, to show you how this all works. So we're going to assign a new macro. Uh, we're going to call this create stack. So the whole idea behind creating this macro was Keybase doesn't really have a stack track like you have in Logic or in Ableton. Uh, so we're going to create a quick little shortcut to kind of just speed up the process of uh, layering sounds together uh, when we are working on music. Um, so the first command that I'm going to want to put in here is duplicate tracks. You can just search for it. Once you find the command here, uh, we can just go and add command. You'll see that'll add that as the first uh, function of our macro. Now, um, when this duplicates the track, it will make a new track and that will be selected. So what we need to do is we need to select the previous track. And let's just search through this. Oh, it's over here. And we want to select the previous track, but we want to select add previous. Uh, selecting the previous one will move the selection back to the previous track without maintaining the selection for the, for the duplicated one. So we're going to do add previous, add that command. And then what we're going to do now is actually nest a macro inside of another macro. Um, so if you look at your key commands on the top here, you'll see you have a macro section here. And all your created macros will show up in here as well. But we're going to take the selected tracks to new folder and add group. So we've already selected our tracks here. Now with this macro, we can add this macro on top of our new macro that we're creating to have that perform a few functions as well um, within this one that we've done. Um, so we'll leave it at that. It's a fairly simple um, but quite powerful uh, shortcut that you can create here. Um, we're going to look back at the macro in the key commands here and just assign a command to that. So we're just going to hit Shift W, for example. There's nothing assigned to that. I saw select down to worry about that one. Uh, we'll hit Assign. Macro create stack. So we will sort it there. So let's come back here now. I've got a copy of Anna uh, 2. So we have that lead sound in there. Now let's say for example I want to stack a few sounds to kind of uh, build the sound up a little bit. All we have to do now is hit our Shift W and it'll prompt us to give us a group. So we'll say lead synth stack or whatever you want to call it. Add and there we have it. So we've got our Anna duplicated and assigned to this group. So we can assign insert effects on this that will apply to all of these and neatly organized into a folder. Now all you have to do is open up your second Anna and we can just solo that one. We'll just browse through a few of these. Let's take that guitar -y kind of sound. And unsolo that, now we can have them all stacked together. So there you have it, super powerful little tool to just kind of streamline your workflow. Um, when you find things that you're kind of doing a lot over and over and over again, 
there's probably a good chance that you can write a decent macro for that and really save yourself a bunch of time every time that needs to be done. Just one keystroke, it'll take care of all that stuff for you. Cool, so that's macros for you. I'm gonna move on to the next video. I'll see you guys then, cheers. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.